Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. When this video goes up, it may or may not be September, which means fall is coming. As much as I want it to be summer year round, fall is coming. And don't get me wrong, I love fall. I love the aesthetic. I love pumpkin. I love cinnamon. I love orange and warms and autumnal colors, but I hate how dark it gets in the morning and at night. Like if I could take summer day lengths with like fall weather, that would be my ideal environment, I think. So since fall is upon us, I thought I would do an olivey fall eye look today. I love greens, as you guys probably know. I think I've talked about this before, but I love greens. I love olives. I love khakis. I love all things green. My entire room is green. There's just something very calming about it. It's like being in nature, I want to say. That's what it makes me feel like. So today we're going to do a nice olive eye look. My skin's been going through it. I haven't been eating as well as I want to. I haven't been exercising as much as I do. I've been very stressed out. Listen, there was a new moon the other day, so my emotions we're running rampant and now I'm in recuperation mode. So I want to do an olivey green eye look and that's what we're going to do today. If that is something you're interested in seeing, let's go ahead and get started. So I have a temporary tan on right now just because oh, I love to self tan, but I'm so lazy when it comes to doing it. I really just am. So a lot of the times when I'm filming, I have these temporary tans on. Like I think I mentioned before that I use the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. I've used that before, but today I have on it's the Be Perfect Golden Hour, I think is what it's called. I think it's called Golden Hour. And it does have a scent to it, which I don't love. And it's pretty good. But there are like some patchy parts. I mean, you're just gonna get that with any self tan just because you just are. <laughs> Skin isn't perfect and it's gonna cling to weird parts. But like, do you see how, like, what is that? I have some weird sections, but for the most part, it's a good shade. So we're gonna start with eyes today, like we normally do. I'm gonna be taking this Len Bunny Surge palette that I use all the time. This is a great palette. Eyeshadows are super blendable, really work well with each other. And I'm gonna start with this vinyl shade right here, which is just a black. I'm gonna use this on the outer corner and I'm gonna start with like a wing kind of. I'm gonna wing it and then I'm gonna like flick it in. Let me just show you. My eyes are already primed. I use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot like I normally do. This is a Sigma E75. It's just an angled flat brush. It says that it's used, it's like an eyebrow brush, but we're gonna use it as like a wing liner brush today. So I'm gonna take a bit of that vinyl and starting on the outer lash line, I'm gonna Bring this out, keeping my eyes open, and I'm just stamping it in. I am keeping in mind that I can clean this up at the end, so I'm not worrying about being messy. I wanted to start with the darkest color today, just because I feel like, for me, that's going to be the easiest way to blend. We are going to go in with some greens, but first, I wanted to use the black. So I'm really stamping this and then keeping my eyes open and, like, flicking it in. Bringing it only, like, halfway in. This is my favorite black to use like ever just because it's so forgiving and it's so blendable. You know some blacks can be really hard to maneuver. This is not one of them. This one is very easy to like blend out and stuff like that. So that's why I love using this black. All right, I am gonna move on to the green now. I'm gonna darken the black up, but I wanna put down some green first. I'm gonna take this Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna take this Alive color. It's a nice green olivey shade. I'm gonna take it on my Morphe brush and starting in like the black, I'm going to blend in. I actually am going to take a bit of this locked shade right here, which is just a really dark olivey green. I'm going to take that on a bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to use this small pointed eyeshadow brush, this Profusion brush, which is just like a small bit of a pointed, not like a pencil brush, like a little bit fluffier than that, but I'm going to take a bit of this locked shade. Yeah, see? That's more what I was going for. This is a bit more like darker, so it's gonna blend into the black really well. The transition from the black to that alive shade wasn't exactly what I wanted, so this locked color is gonna help to really make the gradient work to my advantage. Packing this on top of like where the black is, bringing it in pretty far, and then I'm gonna go in with the alive shade right where the locked color starts to fade. This is kind of gonna be the lid shade. 
I'm actually gonna switch my brush to this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush right here. It's a pretty fluffy brush. Since there's no shadow on it, I'm just gonna use it to blend. I'm gonna take vinyl again and just flick it in. And take some more of that locked shade right on top. I'm gonna take that alive shade on this Real Techniques brush and I'm going to blend it in. And I'm also gonna take it in the crease back in on here and then bring it up. Then for the innermost corner of this eye look, I'm gonna take this hint shade right here, which is just a soft, like minty green kind of shade. I'm gonna use this Morphe M124 brush, which is just a flat brush, and I'm going to pack this on over here. I'm gonna bring this pretty high. I'm gonna take this brush again, the Real Techniques one, and just blend, taking some more of the black and just stamping it, just kind of reinstating that liner and feathering it out. Went ahead and did my other eye as well, and then I cleaned up the edges, added some liner, I tight lined, and then I added some mascara. I always do that off camera just because I feel like no one really wants to see that. <laughs> and I kind of get nervous when I do liquid liner, so I feel better doing it off camera. We are gonna move on to face now. I'm gonna start with this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Tawny. Love this foundation. I will link a video to like my first impressions after five years on this foundation that I had. I filmed it a little while ago, but like I said, I'll have it linked and you can go check it out if you want to know more about this magic in a bottle. I am going to use a sponge with it just because I feel like that gives it the best finish. I just wish there was a freaking pump that came with this foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of swipe it onto my face. This is an e.l.f. sponge and it just has been submerged in some water to make it nice and fluffy and bouncy. This foundation is so beautiful. Just gives the nicest finish and it lasts forever, which I enjoy <laughs> as an oily person. <laughs> you also don't need very much when it comes to this foundation. Like a little does go, oops, a long way. I wanted to use this foundation today just because I've been having some breakouts and this foundation in particular does a great job of covering the breakouts, but not making them look cakey. Like you can still see them, but it doesn't look, they're not as pronounced as they were. My skin still looks like skin, but everything that I want to be covered up is covered up. All right, once we have a nice layer of the double wear, we're gonna move on to cream contour. I'm gonna take old tried and true, which is the Huda Beauty Tantor. Or maybe not. I'm actually not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use a different one. I'm gonna take the Fenty Matchsticks instead. This is in the shade Amber. Applying that onto my Luxie 512 small contouring brush. Yeah, this one was calling to me instead. I just love the contour that this gives. Ooh, that is stunning. It can go gray, so be very careful with this. <laughs> if you are darker than me, I don't think this would be good for you. And if you're fairer than me, it might go a little gray on you, but definitely I would try it out. It's just the perfect shade when it comes to like casting a shadow and actually looking like a contour rather than more of a just bronzed like cheekbone. Oof, looks really good. Okay, gonna hit the forehead as well. Like, do you see my cheekbones? You see how it just gives the most stunning contour? I'm going to take this concealer that I love but haven't used in a while. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. We're gonna take this under the eyes and down the center of the face using our fingers. You really only need a little bit of this. A little goes a very long way <laughs> when it comes to this concealer. I haven't used this concealer yet with this foundation, so I also was kind of curious to see how the two would work with each other. So far, so good. I'm convinced that this concealer can work well with any foundation, and this foundation will work well with any concealer. Like, they're just two really good products. Really brighten me up. I'm loving how that looks. I'm gonna go down the center of my face as well, just to balance everything out. I'm going to ever so lightly pinch the brush with whatever is left over of that Fenty Magic Stick and just kind of hit 
where the natural shadows of my nose are just so that I don't lose my nose sometimes when I do my makeup and I don't give myself like a little bit of a nose contour my nose will kind of just disappear into my face I am then gonna set with my one size setting powder best powder on the face of the earth I'm gonna use it with a powder puff right here nothing new just gonna set underneath here and everywhere that I put that concealer we're not so much baking as we are just like pressing powder into the skin because we're not gonna wipe this away and then I'm just gonna finish off the face with some powders I'm gonna use a little bit of this NARS Laguna bronzer and then I'm gonna add some of this blush by Essence in the shade befitting Morphe M530 for the bronzer really patting the excess off before I go in just because this is a super pigmented bronzer. A little angle brush for the blush. Bring it back here and then in onto the cheeks. Bring it over the nose as well. I am gonna go do lashes and brows off camera now that I am done with the face. So I will be back in just a second and then we can finish up this tutorial with lips. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so lashes and brows are done. I'm going to do my lower lash line before I forget because that has been a thing recently that I've been forgetting to do my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this brush right here, the flat end of this dual ended brush, and I'm gonna take that dark locked shade, which is the darkest green that we've used, and I'm going to press it into the lash line down here on both sides and I'm only bringing it halfway in and then once that's down I'm gonna take this brush right here this is a Sigma E 36 it's just a small fluffy brush and I'm gonna take that alive shade which is the green that we used on the lid and I'm going to blend out with this taking a little bit of my lash princess on the lower lashes all right we are finally ready to move on to lips I'm gonna first line with this makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade wherever walnut I haven't used this in forever I am then gonna take this Fenty liquid lipstick in the shade unbutton I'm then gonna do a little bit of lip contouring with this artist color pencil in the shade endless cacao focusing it mainly on my cupid's bow and the center of my bottom lip and then my final product for my lips is just going to be this NYX butter gloss in the shade creme brulee and I'm gonna focus it just on the center of my lips very sparingly there we have it the perfect nude lip so my final step for all of my videos is just to bring back my birthmark right here so I'm gonna go in with this one size gel aligner pencil in the shade point made and just bring her back and this is the final look. The lashes I forgot to mention are the Molten Firecracker lashes. They are so stunning. They're like my favorite pair of lashes right now. This is exactly what I was envisioning when I was thinking of a nice olive green fall eye look. I just can't stop using the Surge palette. It's just one of the best in my collection right now. Skin came out so good. Hair, I mean, let's give the hair a moment again did the overnight curls i have been loving the way that that looks and i've been loving the way that it lasts since i only wash my hair once a week the curls last that entire time and i didn't think that they would but they did if you have not already make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little bell so that you are always notified when i upload a new video so i hope that you all enjoyed and i will see you all in my next one